On Friday, a video was recorded during protests following the Jason Stockley not guilty verdict showing a St. Louis police officer breaking out the window of Culpepper's restaurant. The following video was recorded and posted to Chris Phillips' personal Facebook page. When we slow down the video, it appears that the officer kicked out the window, and then he oddly walks away when people in the crowd start asking him why he just did that. The St. Louis Police Department claimed to the Riverfront Times that Phillips strongly edited the video. However, in a video update on Sunday to his personal Facebook page, Phillips cleared some of that up after he had turned in his full video to the local media. Let me see. All right, y'all. I don't know who's tuning in just yet. Um, um, but I'm going to get this rolling. So I just missed some, some stuff going on. I was just at Channel 5. As you can see, that's the, the garage back there. I came in. I did three interviews today. Riverfront Times, Post Dispatch, and KSDK just now. Um, I don't know if it's going to be on at the 6 o'clock hour or the 9. But long story short, first of all, no shame t-shirt stay woke um so i was there right i went on the air and i i was make i made sure i was clarifying i was like yo um this is what i shot this is what i saw i don't know if the glass was pre-broken blah 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 what's up sarah and then um i go in there and right when i leave they were like hey chris come back they were like we got the police video right i was like what so i went back up in the building right and it's me it's mike bush and it's like several of, uh, several of their producers were crowded around this table because I gave them my unedited clip. So for the St. Louis Police Department, suckers that's out here thinking I straight tweaked and, you know, altered a clip. You can, you can squash that. They got the whole minute and a half long clip. So there's no edited audio. We confirm that. So I'm in the free and clear as far as integrity goes. But I saw the police video that they submitted, right? The police video they submitted, which has no timestamp on it, shows a person breaking the window. They're having a hard time confirming that it's the window that I showed in my video. And then on top of that, you know, they're being real slow about it, as the police would. And so me and all the other people in there are saying, why don't they just send the same clip? Because I had a timestamp. I said 11.32 p.m., I believe. Why don't they just send a clip of the storefront showing it at the exact same time as I did, right? Because you would see the officers leaving um, the same way you did in my video. So then that way we could know, okay, yeah, these officers didn't or did do whatever. But no, they sent a clip um, of somebody smashing a window and we can't even confirm that it's the same window that's in my video. So it's kind of interesting and right now they delayed the story. It might even come on at the 10 o'clock because they're trying to get a statement back from the police because they're like, this video don't show nothing. For many, the video has already validated a long concern of law enforcement attempting to infiltrate these protesting groups and also twist the narrative for the public eye to make the protesters look bad and at the same time justify the often used over-militarized approach to these situations. 